instilled in our understanding. For the sisters, pluck in the eyebrows. And for those who are too lazy, they just shave it. And they bring a pen, and you know, black market maybe, you know, from the, for one riyal, and they put a big old line, and they say, khalas, these are my new, you know, eyebrows. No. You cannot remove your eyebrows. And for further clarification on this issue, the lecture will be outside. The title of the lecture is, this sister going to Jannah? Is this sister going to Jannah? We explain everything regarding the dress code of the Muslim sister and things dealing with her eyebrows. You are cursed, according to the hadith of the Mas'ud, which is sahih, if you remove your eyebrows, if you pluck them, you must leave them alone. That's the way Allah created you. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So you don't pluck your eyebrows. Uh, hair extensions, wigs, you know, things of this nature. The hadith of Asma, a woman came to the Prophet Sallallahu and told him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, my, I'm about to give my daughter off in marriage. And she had a fever, a very high fever where her hair fell out. Is it okay that I add some fake hair? He said, no. Allah has cursed the one who does it and the one who gets it done. Cannot add fake hair. Some people think it's fine they add, you know, an extra, you know, uh, spiral kind of thing, you know, on the side. No, sister. The way, the way your hair is, leave it alone. You cannot add anything to your hair. It is not allowed in Islam. Very common among marriages. Not this is the bride. This is for everyone attending the marriage. In a, in, during a wedding and outside a wedding. This is always a haram. Uh, long nails. You know, uh, tiger nails. You know, some sisters, you know, maybe they use it for protection. They, they say, you know, some people have, you know, that spray. And other sisters, I keep my long nails in case somebody attacks me. I could just put it in his eye and pull his eye out. But really no one does it for that reason. They do it for what? Beautification. And it's not allowed. We have been prohibited from going over 40 days without cutting our nails and the armpit hair and the whole list. I'm not going to tell you, I'll, I'll give you a lecture about that. Any brother or sister cannot, cannot have long nails. You cannot have long nails. Have to keep them nice and clean. If they grow a little bit, you cut them. But for to have a long nail during the wedding with, you know, manicure and all that stuff, that's no, no. That's a no-no as well. I'm sorry, sisters. You can live without nails, inshallah. Plus, it'll be safer. Uh, tight clothes, makeup, you know, some sisters thing, they go in, I don't know where. Uh, you know, clothes that, you know, it's, it's, there's, a, there's an opening here and an opening here and opening on the back. The whole thing is open, right? It's like just a few stitches around, you know, ping, 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 and said, this is a dress. And she's walking around with the heels, you know, she can't even, you know, can't even walk straight. Why? Why? Keep it cool and safe, you know, dress modestly, look okay during a wedding, but this extravagance in appearance, this, this evil look, like, I'm not going to compare you to what? You know, who dresses this way and where they work and what they do, this is not becoming for a Muslim sister ever, ever under any circumstances, during a wedding or otherwise. Keep in mind, not everyone is straight. There are women who like women during weddings. And you look a little funky, and you may find, out, find yourself with someone who loves you, sending you SMS messages the next day. Yes, it happens. This is without mentioning, you know, people who want to bring a sneaking in a camera, and taking pictures, and then they sell them in Balad for, you know, 10 riyals. You buy a DVD with thousands of wedding pictures. From where? From the same problem. So, you know, you keep it nice, you dress okay, moderately, with... For the 